Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another update for March. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of March. Keep in mind that it can resonate at any time in March. This is for Scorpio. Dear God, Angel, Spirits, and Universe, what do we got for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? What do they need to hear? What do we have for Scorpio? Well, you know, we got two. We got two. I'm going to have to show them both to you, right? I have to. I mean, it's the only way, right? So we got Reflection and Ancestors. And I got the goosebumps like mad, like instantly. So that, and <laughs> they're coming strong. I mean, it's just like instant. And they're like, whew, just like that. Ancestors, people that have passed on. People that have passed on are are aiding you. They're giving you messages. They're beside you. They're talking to you. They're with you. Pay attention. Really pay attention. Pay attention to your dreams. Okay. Um, you are receiving messages from the other side. So really, really listen to what you're, you're hearing. Pay attention to your feelings. Um, it's also a time of reflection. It's a time to go within and listen. It's a time to go within and figure out where you're going next. So during this month of March, you are being guided down a new path by your ancestors, okay? They are asking you to take time to reflect and to follow your own path. Do not let anybody um, tell you what is right, what is wrong. Please go your own way. Your ancestors are guiding you every step of the way. I know we don't match, but that's okay. Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? Gosh, the goosebumps are so strong. It's unbelievable. You are probably receiving lots of messages, lots of, of synchronicities, lots of... Uh, Things are happening. Um, they are not a coincidence. There is no such thing as coincidence. Um, you're, you're amidst a new beginning, okay? A whole new life. <laughs> I wish you could feel the chills that I have. Um, it's unbelievable. They're here. They're here. You're not alone. Five of Cups. Well, no, Four of Cups. Um, uh, you may be missing an opportunity. You may be missing an opportunity for love. And it's it, it, it could be a big opportunity. You may be missing an opportunity hanging on to something that maybe you're, you shouldn't be. I'm not sure. I mean, it really looks like there's some discontent, unhappiness here. Boredom, perhaps. You may not be happy where you're at. You may be looking outside. You may be thinking there is a better option. And maybe you know it. Maybe you know there's a better option. But you got to deal with the situation you're with now. I think that a lot of you are not in a very good place. Uh, perhaps, I don't know, romantically. And you're looking for more. And you may be looking outside. You may be, you know, maybe you realize that there's a better opportunity outside of whatever situation you're in. and But you got to... You got to deal with uh, whatever situation you're in right now. It looks like you may have lost your focus, your concentration for a minute. Maybe you've lost your ambition and your drive. You know, maybe you've lost your desire to go out and look for love. Maybe you've given up. 
Maybe you've given up. Maybe you feel like this is it. This is where I'm going to be. I'm never going to get the love that I want. I'm not going to get what I truly deserve. I'm not, you know, this is it. This is, this is, this is, this is it. You know, maybe that's what you think. But I, I feel like those thoughts, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, that's not true. That's not true. I feel like you need to be patient. You need to, you know, allow divine timing all in good time, all in good time. I feel like right now you guys are really discontent with where things are in your love life. You're not happy. You may be falling out of love with somebody. Maybe you're not in love with them. Maybe they're not in love with you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're just, you're lonely. Maybe you're lonely. Maybe the love, love of your life hasn't entered yet and you're feeling like it's never going to come. You know, but I, I feel like this is just a, um, a time where you are going through something that is changing you. You're going through a big change, even with the temperance reversed. So during this time of reflection, during this time of change, you may feel a little down. You may feel a little, uh, you know, you may have a lack of energy. You may have a lack of, of drive and ambition to go look for love because you're going through such a big change. You are going through a big change. You may, you may be extending your energy in places that you shouldn't extend them. Some of you may have addictions that are getting in the way. You may be overindulging in things that are not good for you that could be stealing your energy. I see like there's a lack of energy here. There is. And I feel like this lack of energy comes from not being happy. You know, when you're not happy, you know, things tend to go downhill. Um, perhaps you're not feeling loved or you're not getting the, the love that you dream of. Um, you're not. It's like you're, you may feel like there's nothing to celebrate. You may feel like there's no joy in your life. But I'm here to tell you that there's, there is an opportunity. There is an opportunity. And you, you probably know there is an opportunity, but there is an opportunity. I know there is. But you got to face your own demons. you got to face your own self-sabotage. You know, there's some, there's, this is addictions and this is addictions. For some of you, addictions are in the way. And that will not be for every single person, but for for a majority of you, yes. There, I mean, with the devil and the temperance card, that is absolutely some sort of escapism, trying to escape, you know, through addictions or sabotaging yourself in some way. Um, you may be um, involved in some unhealthy situations that need to be dealt with, whether it's actual an actual addiction or it's a relationship. Somebody's in an unhealthy situation that is hindering them from getting the opportunity that the huge the big opportunity you know the big one the big one you know the, the only way that you're going to get this big opportunity is to come up with a new approach you know you have to visualize it i mean she's a visualizer the queen of wands but it's reversed you have to visualize it visualize it and you have to take action i feel like there's really not a lot of action being taken i feel like there's a mask it's like trying to escape escaping you know escaping putting in any effort i see a, a level of escapism here and I, I love you guys i love you guys i really do um so i feel like there is another opportunity waiting for you it's a big one it's a big 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 opportunity and you have the power to manifest it and you have the power to grab onto it it's gonna come it's gonna come it's gonna be something stable it's gonna be something big it's gonna be very um abundant whatever this is but i feel like right now there's a period there's a lack of excitement there's a lack of happiness in your life you ha the only one that can change that is you okay i feel like you have oh boy um you've been waiting you've been you've been in a period of waiting with the three of wands you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to change when the fact of the matter is is that it changes on the horizon and I think that this has been coming for a long time now I mean the tower comes in to enforce change a big change big 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 okay we have a, a, a rude awakening coming in and this this is something that is needed this is the universe this is a card this is a universe card the universe steps in because you're lacking the ambition you're lacking the energy and the drive to face your own demons 
okay? This is the devil to face your own demons. So I feel like, I mean, codependency could be an issue here. Some of you may be in the wrong relationship. Some of you may be in the wrong relationship just because you don't want to be alone. And the universe sees that. That could certainly be the case. I feel like you've been expecting a change and you've been waiting for the universe to step in. A lot of you have. You've been waiting for some help. Well, if you've been waiting, it's coming. It's coming. Because there's a false foundation here. The tower is a false foundation. It's it's destruction. It's something that needs to fall apart, okay? Something is going to fall apart that needs to fall apart so that you can get the abundance that you truly, truly, truly deserve. I feel like you guys have really good intentions. I think that you guys are mastering your emotions very, very, very well. Even though there's a lack of drive and ambition, as far as your emotions go, you're mastering them. You're, you are, you're here, you're present, you are seeing things clearly. You're very intuitive at this time. You know exactly what's going on, but there's fear. There's fear with this devil card. And I feel like there's, there's, there's fear of, of, uh, what's going to happen if you follow your heart and so you know you guys are about to experience a major life change which I think I said this I can't remember it was so long ago I did the other March reading that I can't remember exactly what it was but you guys are going to go through some sort of disruption in your life that is going to clear the path and I, I can't remember what I said at the beginning of this reading because I I've trained myself to let the readings go so fast but the ancestors are guiding you. I think that's that's what it was. They're guiding you, and this is this is coming to clear your path. So there's going to be universal help. Okay, something is coming to clear your path. You will be. I got the goosebumps again. So they're here. They're going to hold your hand. They're going to guide you down that new path. Somebody from the other side is going to guide you down that new path. It may be uncomfortable, but it's going to lead you towards something so much better. It really, really, really is. Okay? So. I feel like some of you are in a toxic situation that you are tied to at this point. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius twice. Could be with a Sagittarius. Could be with a Capricorn. Uh, could be with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, whoever it is that you are involved with right now probably is keeping you trapped. And they may, they may be keeping you where you're at just for financial reasons. You know, I feel like there's a fear of, of loss here, but whoever you're dealing with, um, is quite manipulative. They are very manipulative and I feel like you're quite concerned. You're quite concerned with making this change and perhaps that's why you haven't made the change because you know, you're trying to do the right thing. I think that you're trying to, to to not hurt anybody in the process, but you're in a situation that you're not happy with. You know, I feel like wherever you're at, there's not a lot of love, and you have a lot of love to offer, and you want love, and that's why you're waiting. You're waiting for the universe to help you. You're waiting for this disruption to happen so that and, and 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 you know this is waiting and this is disruption so some of you if you've been waiting for the universe to step in and help you your waiting period is just about over it's just about over and i think that whatever breakdown that is happening whatever breakdown or breakthrough that is happening is really really going to bring you something huge something much 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 better um right now you are definitely going through a time of reflection and i think sadness i think there's a period of sadness here because i think something is coming to an end i think that something is coming to an end maybe maybe uh you're going to be moving perhaps you need to move perhaps there's a long-term commitment that is that is ending. I feel like uh, 
maybe you've been taken advantage of or your fear or your fear that you'll be taken advantage of financially maybe that's where you're at wait why why you're still where you're at because of financial reasons i feel like you there's definitely afraid afraid there is fear here afraid to take a risk what it's going to cost what's it going to cost what's it going to cost it may cost some money, yeah. It may cost some money, but you know what it's going to bring you? It's going to bring you something better. It's going to bring you something better. It's time for you to, to start. It's time for your fresh start. It's time for you to have faith. It's time to re, for you to replace that fear. It's time for you to begin again. It's time for you to start over. You have to replace that fear with faith. You have to. You have to. So I feel like there's a lack of, of abundance here. And there's been probably some feuding going on, maybe at home. You know, there's been some fights. I'm not sure. There's, this is a, like a feud at home. And I feel like you, you know that it's time to go, but there's fear of what it's going to cost you to go. You know, um, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, Whatever, whatever needs to be cleaned out, whatever needs to come to an end, is going to come to an end. It is going to come to an end. And it's going to bring you success. It is. It's going to head you right down a new path. That's the, that's, that's the six of wands. That's gonna, it's going to bring you balance. It's going to bring you harmony. It's going gonna, it's gonna to... bring you more respect you're going to get more respect for holding your head up high and doing the right thing even if it costs you some money so i'm not sure what that is some of you have fear of losing money and i have to tell you that you're going to you're going to head to a much 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 better place you have so many options here and I know that you have to make a complex decision. You know, you have you have choices. I think that you're confused right now. You're scared. I feel like, you know, this devil is very materialistic, okay? Very very materialistic. You know, you got to let go. The best things in life isn't aren't things. They aren't things. Okay? The best things in life is love. Okay, and I think that you're not getting the love. You're not. You're not. With the Ace of Cups reverse, you're not getting the love that you deserve. And I think it's because money is being chosen, money over love. You know, you gotta. You, if you want love, you gotta put love as the number one priority. And I feel like right now. You're probably really confused as to whether you want to give up any materialistic assets or whatever and go after love. I think that you know that there's another person out there for you. I do, for some of you, whoever this is for. And I think that you want to start over, but you're afraid. You're really afraid of what you're going to lose. Or if you have enough to offer, you may feel like you don't have enough to offer another person financially. It's not about the money. It's not. It's not. It's not. Um, it's time to release. It's time to let go. It's time to stop being depressed. It's time to let go of this anxiety. It's time to let go of this worry. It's time to let go of the guilt. You have a better option. You do have a better option, but you're going to have to face your fears and you're going to have to accept change. It's like change is scary. Change is scary. And I feel like a lot, there's fear here. There is definitely some fear here, but you're going to have to face those fears to evolve. And you are going through a period of evolving. The universe says it's time. It's time. It's time. So some of you could be end up moving this month or planning a move or getting kicked out or something like that. I'm just saying. I mean, it looks like somebody could be the, the, the home base may be falling apart. Something at home may be falling apart. And this is happening because you have something better. And I think that you know it. You're going to have to make a choice. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? You have, this is a choice. This is a choice.
You have two paths. But you're going to have to let get let let go of that fear of change. You have options. This you may you may be going back and forth, should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? There's re restlessness here and I think that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for like somebody to give you an answer. You're get you know the answer. They're telling you what to do. You aren't listening. Somebody's not listening. And they're not listening because of financial reasons. Whether this is job related or relationship related or both. One of our life lessons is to love over money. Don't let, and I'm not saying that you're greedy. Don't, I'm just, this is something that came up in my head right now. Don't let greed get in the way. I mean, if you think about the devil, I don't know where this is coming from. The devil was once a fallen angel. He let his ego get in the way. Don't let your ego get in the way. If, you know, if you're stuck in a bad marriage or a bad relationship and you're stuck there because of the money and you're staying because of the financial reasons, that's ego. I don't know where this is coming from. If you want to be loved, if you're not happy, if you want love, you have to choose love. You have a choice to make. You do. You have a choice to make this month. You will be respected and recognized for making the right choice. You will be. You will be. Maybe maybe one of the reasons why you are staying where you're at is because everybody's watching and you're you what is everybody going to say? Like I said at the very beginning, doesn't matter what anybody else says. That's what they wanted me to tell you. This is your path, not theirs. They don't live your life. This is your life during this lifetime. Don't waste it. Don't waste it in the wrong situation. You have an opportunity for success. You have a new opportunity here for something big to come into your life. Even more abundant than where you're at. But you're going to have to face your fears to get it. And that, that fear is leaving something behind that is very not abundant. It's not abundant. It's not stable. It's not secure. It's false. I mean, the tower is a false contract, a false structure, a false foundation. It's false. It's not real. It's not stable. It's going to break down sooner or later, no matter what. So why, why, why hinder it? Why not deal with the pain right now so that you can get what you truly deserve? Some of you are feeling guilty. It's time to let go of that guilt. It's time to let go of that worry. Choose the best option for you. Fear, fear of taking action, thinking about it. It's time to take action. Just act, act. Some of you are really fearful, <laughs> in denial, not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to speak the truth, not wanting to step outside of your comfort zone. It's like you're trying to protect yourself. It's like you're just wearing a blindfold. You may be biding your time, you know, just to protect yourself for some reason, you know. Some of you may be in denial about this whole situation. There's a lot of indecision here. You're just delaying the inevitable. Some of you are putting yourself through some emotional turmoil, you know, worried, 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 worried about what's everybody else going to say.
Do they live your life? You have to make a choice, and this is about partnership. It is. Twos are partnerships. It's about partnership. The tower is going to probably, this tower moment, is, it could be a fight. It could be because that, that ten of pentacles reversed is kind of like a fight, like a altercation at home. And this is a home. This tower is a home. So I think there's going to be some sort of altercation at home that probably rips that mask right off and makes you speak your truth. Because it's time for you to go down that new path. It's time for your fresh start. And it's time for you to get the love that you deserve. It's time for you to be happy. So we do have a disruption coming. And this is, this is courtesy of the universe. It's time for the truth to be revealed. It's time for you to move forward. That five. You have a better opportunity for love. Five of Cups reversed. This is you have a better opportunity for love. But you're not seeing it. Maybe you're starting to see. Because up here it looks like you see it. But you're stuck. You're stuck in a dissatisfying situation right now. Maybe, maybe you're afraid of what your friends will say. I think that for many of you, you know that there's another option for love, but you may be in a situation, maybe even a commitment with somebody that, you know, you don't want to hurt them. You made some mistakes. There's all kinds of people watching. What are the friends going to say? There's a commitment that is falling apart. There's discontent and there's unhappiness, and I'm sorry. I think some of you may be getting a divorce or breaking up and I'm just being honest with you here and it's because you deserve you deserve so much more you deserve reciprocation if you are single you are gonna get something eventually here but you get there's a waiting period something needs to, and maybe if you're single if you're the single Scorpio watching this you may have the person that is gonna come into your life maybe going through this situation right now maybe they're going through a divorce Somebody is going to go be going through a split. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Somebody's going to be going through a split because they realize that there's a better option. This is all happening to bring you that best, big, huge opportunity. The opportunity of a lifetime. The owl is change. Major change. It's represent I mean, owl is a uh, sign of death, which is your card, right? And death is change, rebirth, endings bring new beginnings. And that you have an ending here, something is coming to an end, and you're about to have a new beginning. And it's something bigger than you can even imagine. It's going to happen. So be prepared for some sort of major change. It's coming if it hasn't happened already. You are being guided from above, and that is no joke. Take this time to reflect on what is important to you. What is important to you? Being loved? Or what's in the bank? I feel like there's another opportunity. There is. There is another opportunity for love. There is. There is no doubt. There is. There is another opportunity for love. There is. But it's not where you're, it's not, it's not at home, okay? Because this is, the home is, there's an issue at home. There's an issue at home, a big one. There's lack of happiness, lack of contentment, lack, lack of uh, even commitment. There could have even been a third party situation here where somebody, you know, involved another person. There's definitely a lack of love in the situation you're in right now, whether you're single or you're coupled. A lack of emotional fulfillment, period. And I feel like you know that there's a better option. You do.
Let's get one card for Scorpio. Major change is coming. Huge opportunity is coming. It is. But you're going to experience some disruption to get it. Disruption, break, breakthrough, uh, disaster almost leads to a huge opportunity. Some of you are, are going to be split, going through a split, moving. Somebody's moving by the looks of things. In the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Doesn't sound like it though, does it? Not with that tower card. In the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Let go of the shore, enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly with good timing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. Please do not resist. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to try to control the events in your life. Let the Creator support you. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there is a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. Just let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster. And you aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you are trying to control situations in your life. If you are being self-critical or judgmental, the way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation. And by allowing others and spirit to support and help you, you are being guided. Listen, you know what you got to let go of. It's time. Good luck.